Hey all, so this is uh, something I, I promised a few days ago. I know my glasses on, it might freak some of you out, but I'm being lazy. I don't actually need them to see. I just use them to see better. Um, I can drive without them. I just don't like to. Anyway, um, this is about passing. And it's a very, if you're watching this and you're gay or you're light-skinned, black, Mexican, what have you, or you're Jewish, or Muslim, or, or, or you know what it means to be passing. And this is for Aspies. And <clears throat> passing is, to define it simply, passing is the need or ability to seem no different than the crowd around you. Um, as you can tell, I've mentioned several times I'm, I'm, I'm Jewish, I'm Ashkenazi, actually. So my, uh, let's see, that, that, my um, heredity doesn't show through as well as compared to some of my family. Um, I have northern Scandinavian blood because of where my family comes from. Let me move this light slightly. And uh, there we go. I, I have a family from, from, from Northern Europe, as a lot of Ashkenazi do. Red hair tends to come from Northern Europeans. That's how they got it to Ireland. And so a lot of people think I'm Irish. I'm like, yeah, sure, sure, sure. And people go, oh, fuck the Jews, fuck the Jews, fuck the Jews. Are you Jewish? And if it wasn't needed for me to stand up for my people, I would, you know, this is some jackwit at a coffee shop, not some demonstration. This is some asshole in a coffee shop. Um, then I would say, no, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. I got somewhere to go. And I would just make some excuse, mumble, and get the fuck out. Um, but I, in high school, in, in middle school, and elementary school, I got in fights because people found out I was Jewish, and they hated Jews, and they wanted to fight me. Um, I lost people I thought were friends because... Uh, they found out I was Jewish. Well, they weren't good friends. <laughs> Let's put that. They were like, hey, we've been there, been to my house. You know, no. They it was almost associates. Um, and yeah, I'd lose people. So when people talk about uh, you know, being gay, I don't you know, it's a pass, it's just straight. Yeah, I do. I walk, you know, my, my, uh, I am Jew who walks amongst Christians. Trust me, me and everyone who look, and, and every Jew like me knows what it means. And Aspies, because we are, we are fundamentally different, we have to, that, that, that mask I've talked about, spending spoons to seem as normal, we have to pass. And people say, oh, you shouldn't have to pass. Well, um, you, you shouldn't have to grow old and die either, but it's it, it's kind of just as you shouldn't have to pay taxes necessarily. Death and taxes are a constant of, of human life. So you just gonna have to get used to it. Um, passing is a skill we, as, as I mentioned in this video and, and somebody commented right below, said the absolute truth. Passing is a skill that every Aspie, excuse me, bitch, every Aspie must develop and develop good if they want to do anything in life, especially in America. And I'm pretty sure that's true everywhere in the world. Um, I would love to be wrong, but I'm pretty sure in every country and every culture in the world, you need to. And so if you're an Aspie and you're saying, I don't have to learn how to pass, they need to accommodate me. Well, you need to meet in the middle, okay? And it is, as I've said, not unreasonable to say, hey, I've moved all of this way towards you. You could move a step towards me. Um, that's not unreasonable. It is unreasonable to say I shouldn't step at all and everyone has to come meet me where I am. Um, that's not that's not reasonable. So you're going to need to pass. Passing for an Aspie is, very, to put it bluntly, is very simply the act and art of appearing to be a neurotypical. If you do it well enough, and you tell somebody you have Asperger's syndrome, and they have been around you for months, whether it be at work or school or at home, they should look at you and say, no you don't, because you don't seem like it. And that's 
the sentence right there. You don't have it because you don't act like it. You don't have it because you don't seem like it. Clearly, it's, it's, I have observed you and your behavior is that of someone without Asperger's syndrome. That means that you have been doing your job well. You have been passing. And that's good. I, I, I met someone recently, a gaming buddy, um, and, and she clearly has Asperger's. And um, as, as espoused through the female, as espoused through women, women express it oftentimes differently than men. Um, I, I have met two people on the spectrum that one admitted it but wouldn't do anything about it and the other one wouldn't admit it and wouldn't do anything about it. So kind of weird, but they're doing all right. So, hey, yeah, uh, let sleeping dogs lie and all that. Um, and they didn't, the two girls I mentioned didn't pass. The one I did, the, the I game with, she does. She does a, a, an okay job of it. And she understands that, and she's working on it. So, you know, yay her. Um, but for the rest of everyone, it is absolutely the same kind of skill, same set of skill as someone who is a light-skinned black or Latino or Asian or of mixed blood or, you know, is Indian but doesn't look it, um, Indian from subcontinent, Indian Native American as my Canadian friends would say, first peoples, or something like that. And it's the same as, as somebody who's gay passing as straight. Uh, my grandfather on one side was, was absolutely gay. Um, he died in his 60s as a hairdresser in Long Beach with his boyfriend. Um, as I mentioned before, he, the, 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 the problem was my grandmother, all she wanted was a nice Jewish husband, and my grandfather, all he wanted was a nice Jewish husband, so it didn't work out. But he, it was 1950s, it was LA, um, it was a tight-knit Jewish community, and being gay was not okay, so he had to learn to pass. And he did all right. Don't ask, don't tell, everyone remembers that. Um, it's a stressful skill, it absolutely does wear you down, but it's absolutely necessary. And the social chameleonism of Asperger's will help. But instead of letting others dictate who you are, which involves some degree of delay in taking effect, you want to know what they expect and then become it. I have a crazy neighbor. He is um, out west, he would be a tweaker. But here, he's not on drugs, as far as I can tell. Maybe he should be on some kind of antipsychotic. Um, he has been to jail multiple times. He it clearly has mental health issues. Um, he was raised in very much in the, the Southern North Carolina, the North Carolina black subculture. Uh, poor black subculture. It's it's a very specific. If you're out here and you're from the south, you know what I'm talking about. He has that very subculture, and he believes that it's everyone's responsibility to understand him and where he's at. And um, and I didn't, wasn't going to play that game. Because, uh, he got pissed at me over something. He never did tell me what. I even when I flat out asked him, "You're upset. I get that you're upset. I want to make you not upset, and I don't want to do whatever it is that made you put your hands on me." Uh, wrongly ever again. So what did I do so that we don't have a problem anymore? Please tell me, what did I do? Well, I just don't want you to do that. Do what? That. What? What did I do? You tell me what I did and I won't do it. That. You should just know. What I think happened was he realized that what he had done was wrong and what he had done was um, an overreaction and he should have talked first. But he is not someone who is taught how to use his words, only actions. So I think he probably also had an abusive life as a child. Uh, he's about my age. And there's just, he's just somebody I kind of leave alone now. But as for, for blending in, I purposefully didn't blend in. I purposefully didn't pass. I brought out, <laughs> I went full Nevadan on him. If anyone from Nevada, you're watching, you know what I mean. 
that, that subtext that can creep into our voices, even in Aspie, that says, if you piss me off enough, I'll dump you in the desert. We don't mean it, but it's part of our culture, and it does come through. Um, you know, uh, I'll leave you in the desert has been uh, a threat of, of various natures for a, several hundred years now in Nevada. And whether you speak in English or Spanish or Paiute or Shoshone or what have you, the threat was the same. And that threw him off because I refused to pass because I did in fact the exact opposite. I became the full version of me, but from Nevada. Here I am in North Carolina. Uh, we're from two different subcultures and he didn't know what to do. And suddenly he felt threatened, which was the point because the man had put his hands on me without uh, any reason to. And and now he doesn't deal with me anymore. <laughs> he kind of leaves me alone, which is good. Uh, he tends to leave my wife alone, which is good. Um, he goes off and he yells and shouts about how the world is after him and this and that and you know how the mother of his kids. Just, he, he's everyone does him wrong. He is always the victim. Just ask him. And our neighbor kind of talks to him. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Our other neighbor uh, is cool. He's a he's an old truck driver. Uh, big black dude, old truck driver, and uh, he's, he's really nice. He's kind of cool. He just kind of lets them ramble on. Oh, yeah, sure, 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 and leaves him be. So there's an example of me not passing on, on purpose, but at work, I pass. In the street, I pass. With my family, I pass. With my friends, I pass. It's that whole mask I've been talking about for, this is the fifth year of the series. Five years now. Uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, six years. We're, we've already done this five years. This is the sixth year of this. And passing is an absolute, so, so I use it all the time. Passing is an absolutely needed skill. Um, it's unfortunate. It's needed in other places. Uh, there's some movie coming out about a black guy who uses his white voice while doing telemarketing, and it makes him lots of money. Um, Undercover Brother had a joke about it. Um, it's absolutely comedy, comedy gold to be mined. And it absolutely needs to be learned by everyone who is different for one reason or another. Because the consequences of not passing exceed the cost of passing. And, that, and that's what you have. Y'all have a good week. Bye.